over there. All right. Now, where is that mortar? That mortar's over there, and oh, here comes some enemy infantry. So my heavy machine gun is opening up on them, and so is my mortar. Oh, but now his mortar is opening up on me. So to deal with that, I'm going to see if I can sneak a SMG dude over there. Oh, and I don't think I can. Yeah, he's got a he's got a soldier right there. He's got a mur oh no, his mortar is wrecking havoc. He's decrewed my HMG. That's no good. So I'm going to send my Puma over here. Now this is a pretty risky thing to do. Um, generally, Pumas can get killed pretty easily by um, heavy caliber machine guns. You know, so I don't like using Pumas to go raid enemy territory in the rear areas. I mean, Pumas are okay for that, but like... Um, it's the best at the M8 Greyhound for some reason, just the best at that, and I'm gonna buy artillery too. Um, but they're r really better at that in early game, where when your opponent probably doesn't have many troops, you can like just go in there and oh, and right there, look what I find. Yeah, he had one of those things just kind of sitting there, so that failed. Luckily, I have my artillery gun, which I can use to destroy his mortar. And whoa, big boom, but unfortunately it did not kill his mortar. I'm also going to put another anti-tank gun over here to cover that area. And I've got some more SMG guys from that armored um, artillery tractor to spread out. Hmm. Why do you have your Panzer Faust out? That you don't need that. So far, my opponent's only been focusing on the middle, which isn't the best idea. I mean, you really want to attack a variety of places because if you keep attacking one place, then you're opponent can just concentrate all his defenses there and of course you can concentrate all your offensives in that one place but um generally if you're only concentrating there then your your opponent won't put any defenses on the other areas like over here I don't have that many troops defending it so if he made another effort he could probably take that um point without too much trouble so it's a good lesson to learn attack a variety of different points and oh man I think he get, are you serious are you serious his first shot from that d1 howitzer takes out mine that is just infuriating oh my lord all right well I'm going to buy a lighter armored car and go around the left flank because I seriously doubt he has any forces over there and wow now my artillery gun is completely destroyed that is really annoying I find that the Russian guns are much more accurate than the German guns I don't know. I think they'd make it so all the artillery guns are pretty much equal, but I I don't think that's so. I think the Russian guns are the most accurate ones in the game. I don't know why, but they just seem to be. Alright, so he's got some more infantry over there. I'm going to go destroy his mortar and destroy his artillery piece, or steal them, or run them over, or something. I don't know. See, there's the artillery piece. Oh, come on! See right there? Artillery piece in the rear. Man, that is annoying. Alright, Hetzer. I think I'm going to send a Hetzer over here onto that hill there. You can heal yourself. I'm going to bring up my tank too, so it can cover that position a little bit better. I think there's some enemy infantry over there, so I'm going to whip a grenade. Hetzer, where's my Hetzer? There's my Hetzer. I'm going to send him up onto this hill. I'm also going to give him a bit of infantry support, and I'm going to try and take the... Uh, the right flank. 
and there is yes hull destroyed so now I can kill his D1 artillery piece He's got a bunch of troops over here, and it, actually, I think he's got mines in the middle. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. I kill some of the troops manning that D1, and when they keep shooting until it's dead. There we go. I killed the D1. That's good news. Oh, that's not good. KV-1, KV-1. He's got a KV-1 tank over there, so I'm going to back it up now. I do not want to get into a fight with that KV-1. That would not be wise. Definitely would not be wise. Alright. What's going on? Now I control all three points, which is good but my opponent seems to have a pretty solid defense in their rear area, which is kind of silly. I mean, why would you want to base your defense in your rear areas? I mean, the objective is to not defend your rear areas. The objective is to control the battle zone. So right now my opponent is fighting a tactical battle by um, securing his defenses in depth. And, in depth, yeah. And, um, well, yeah, he's not really focusing on taking strategic territory which is vital to your victory he's just kind of I don't know he's fight he's doing a good job of how do I put this um oh man a lot of dudes over there can I get a grenade off no I cannot this guy can throw a grenade though what is my opponent doing He's made some good moves. I mean, he got artillery pieces and... Oh, man. He definitely has mines over here. He got artillery pieces and he did some pretty good damage to me with my mortars. But he really hasn't been focusing enough on... Hmm. Taking the points, you know? And, oh, man. Here we go. Here's an attack on the left, finally. But uh, by now, it's kind of, like, well, too late. I mean, it's almost GG. I almost have... 100 and uh, or 1,200 points. So now my opponent seems to be making a big effort. I mean, he's attacking here, he's attacking there. This is what he should have done from the very beginning. Um, so let that be a lesson. Be, play aggressive, especially in battle zones. I mean, you have to. That's the only way you're going to win. So uh, GG to my opponent, Gurduli.